So I was 20 years old when I had my first major health concern. It was a bloody mole on my back that freaked me the fuck out. I was doing a lot of running outside for my cardio. I was real into long distance running, like 10, 12 miles. That might not actually be long distance running for anyone that's actually into that. But for me, running from one side of the town to the other was long distance running. And I was doing it without my shirt on. It was summertime, I was getting tan and ripped, but it's not good for your skin, y'all. Google told me that you couldn't get tan if you use sunscreen though, so I went along with that. So finding this bloody mole on my back was definitely a low point that came directly after a series of highs that I was experiencing for the first time in my life. I was experiencing a lot of the things that young men strive for, a nice social life, beautiful girls, hookups, like I said, I had the six pack on deck. A Little bit of money I was saving up too because I was always really good at saving. The whole shebang, man. I felt like daddy warbucks. Now let me preface respectfully what I'm about to say with saying that I am not a religious person at all. At one time I was, I grew up in a Christian family, but I decided in my early adulthood, quite honestly, that religion as it's taught and what it explains in terms of my existential questions. Didn't answer a lot of those questions or any of them, quite honestly, and it just wasn't for me. But I do believe in, I guess you could call it gravity. Synchronicity is another word for it, I guess. And that you will be compelled to do certain things unconsciously, depending on what you need to hear, or if it's an obstacle that you need to overcome in order to grow without fail. So some obstacle or entity randomly pops up in my life to this day at random times. It just forces me to evaluate the way that I do shit and forces me to approach life differently. This was one of those situations. So synchronicity dictated that around that time, I just found this book called Meditations through my meandering of Google. Me and my brother read it. We took really well to it. We both had different interpretations of it. But what I got from it is that you should be a virtuous person. You should remain in control of yourself as you can't, quote, control the world around you. Only what happens within you. That's, that's according to the book. Now, I disagree with certain aspects of it, but that particular aspect of it, the being virtuous and in control of oneself thing is going to be important for later in this story. So as I said, the part that really resonated with me was the being virtuous part and being virtuous to me, meaning, you know, you maintain your sense of personal morality, your sense of personal duty and your sense of self just in general, regardless of how other people feel or what they do to you, what happens to you, so on. None of that has to do with the way that you interpret things or the way that you choose to conduct your life. At that point, I'm a hot-headed youngin with a, a, a huge authority problem. And that just vindicated all my beliefs about running on your own program, regardless of the way people feel about you. So it, in my opinion, amplified what in me is just an inherently positive strength of mine. All that aside, the reality of the situation was I thought I had skin cancer. And in my limited understanding of things, limited life experience, I legitly thought that my life could be coming to an end. So where some people would live as if they were dying, stop doing what they love to do, stop doing things that make them them, and do things to instead lose themselves and move farther away from their feelings. Meditation talked a lot about a mastery of emotions and that really helped me do the opposite of that. Not, not an absence of them, but an acknowledgement and control over them. So I was scared confused, uncertain, so many things, bro, but I maintained composure entirely due to that book. I logically accepted that I could have cancer. I could potentially die from it. And I also accepted that I was potentially cancer free. So I get the biopsy. The doc agrees that it's weird looking. It's good that I got it removed and explains that because I was proactive about it, Things will end up working good for me. Skin cancer is one of those things where if you're proactive about it, it won't destroy your body like, you know, other invasive kinds of cancer like prostate cancer or anything in your organs. This skin is an organ, but it's not directly 
connected to like your internal organs or shit that like if it gets fucked up like your heart or your liver you could die from it but during that time man i did the only thing i knew how to do with the limited experience i had i worked out at the time i had a budding marketing and business consulting hustle going on i've always been a smooth talker and that helped me get my foot in the door doing a lot of shit i (laughs) truly had no business doing otherwise there's hope in that though man You have control over how you choose to live every second of your life without fail. Doesn't matter what happens to you, what someone says to you, mistakes you make, the impact of your life. You have control over the way that you choose to live it, you know, the way you use your time. You can't always control what happens to you or around you, but you can control how you handle it. I have a similar situation going on in as with this story so it's time around though man i'm not afraid i'm not confused i'm not uncertain and in accordance things are looking good so far brandon carter said it once another uh as you could say stoic brother of mine he he also read meditations live dangerously until you die that's what he said live life to his fullest most honest most true to you extent it's what I say, man. Struggle doesn't ensure victory, but it does ensure growth and dignity in how you choose to live your life. It's the takeaway from this story, man. Y'all have a good one.